Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little painting video. It is the new watercolor uh, that is available as a free printable over on my Patreon. It's a it's the printable for July, so the video is a little bit late, but it's been up for a couple of days now um, for my July patrons. So you can head head over there if you want a PNG file. So I've I've got the background cut out, so it's just the image, and you can it's it's ready to print. Um, so yeah, head over there if you would like to get it, I guess. I am thinking of doing um, a putting it on my website, but not sure. But if you're interested in the original, just uh, shoot me a message on my website, creaturesinthat.com, um, and just let me know that you're interested in the original. So I'm doing a little a blue watercolor collection pad. Uh, there'll be 12 blue watercolors coming up. Um, and it, they are A5 size watercolors. So the paper that I'm using is uh, by the brand Reeves and it's a 25% cotton watercolor pad. It's a medium surface, so uh, the texture's a little bit more, uh, a little bit rougher, but not super rough. Um, I, I kind of like the medium textures a bit better um, than the smooth textures or the rough textures. So I always tend to go for um, the, middle, the middle ground textures, I guess. I kind of like the way the the water sort of sits on the medium medium um, papers. So yeah, a nice pad so far. I don't mind using it. It's sort of a trial pad, I guess. Um, and the paints that I'm using are the Koi watercolors by the brand Sakura, and um, just using the one tray that you can see on the right there. I did have the other one set up because I was going to add a little bit more blue to it. The other tray is more of like fluoro and um, kind of glittery or shimmery paints, uh, which I haven't used too much of, but um, the fluoros I've used a bit of. So, but I didn't really, I didn't use any fluoros in this one. I just ended up using the, the blue pad, uh, the blue palette that you can see um, on that right one. And uh, a couple of layers as well, so um, let it dry and then add some more layers just to create that um, that more vibrancy, I guess. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably leave it there and just let the video play out for this nice little watercolor. Um, and any questions, let me know. Don't let me know in the comments as well if you like this watercolor or if you have any requests for. Uh, printables or paintings or anything like that just let me know in the comments don't forget to like subscribe uh, comment as well it helps my video get pushed out a little bit more uh, you can also find me on instagram facebook and tiktok at creatures of nat my shop creaturesofnat.com and uh, thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one bye